12 weeks later, the two teams meet again in the regional rounds of the playoffs with Waxahachie now number two in the state and McKinney 10th. And this time, there will be no next week for the loser. This is Craig Way. George Dunham and I are at Texas Stadium for what could be a classic Class 4A playoff game. The McKinney Lions and the Waxahachie Indians coming up next. Live from News 1080 KRLD, this is High School Playoff Football with Craig Way and George Dunham. Have their Indian chant going, the tribe, as they affectionately call their team. They're getting ready for tonight's ball game, which many people look at as a, a great rematch of two very good teams. We talked about the first game of the season that was won by Waxahachie, 14 to 13. It was Ron Poe, the head coach of the McKinney Lions. He's been watching these games since the mid-70s. He realizes what this me game means to his program and also notes that his players have been thinking about a possible rematch with Waxahachie for the last some 11 weeks. I think it's going to be a good rematch. <laughs> We talked about the first game of the season. That was won by Waxahachie, 14 to 13. It was Tom Cole, the head coach of Kenny Lyons. He's been watching these games since the mid-70s. He realizes what this new possible rematch with Waxahachie for the last some 11 weeks. It's going to be a good rematch, and they'll probably get with some good running backs and good quarterbacks. Uh, a key again for your offense to be successful throwing the ball, getting protection for... Uh, a key again for your offense to be successful throwing the ball, getting protection for... Max knocking, giving him time to throw the ball. That's always the key. You know, when you go in the passing uh, uh, game, you, you've got to have protection. If you give the quarterback time, most of them are going to be successful. Ron Cole, the head coach of the Kenny Lions, who are now coming onto the field when we come back. We'll hear from Waxahachie coach Scott Fitzgerald. This makes Gabbard Thanksgiving be the Stadium Day of the Week. Because it's really like me. You know, I know that be the one who got me. So this year, remember the very best gift you can buy for any member of the family is the club. Next year, Van Halen, available at most stores where our supplies are sold. Look, Ed, 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 Ed,
for the Waxahachie Indians. Back deep to receive Reese Allen, J.T. Hollins, and Phillip Evans will flank Allen as the deep man. Indians will kick off from our right to left. From north to south here, they wear dark green jerseys, gray trousers, green helmets, and we're underway with a kickoff fielded at the 10-yard line. And this is Hollins coming to the 15 across the 20 and tackled at the 19 as he started to turn past the 20-yard line. So McKinney starts from its own 19-yard line. And it was Dontre Edwards on the tackle for Waxahachie. On first and 10, McKinney will send one receiver split wide left, two on the right side. They spread the field. It's a double wing set. Now one man in motion to the right side. That's Donahue and Naki back to pass. Guess what? On first down and a pass, ball caught out of the backfield. That's Set. Naki, the quarterback, under center, takes the snap. Option pitch, left side. Here's Holland's running room across the 30, 35, 40, and finally run out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Avery Kindred, the free safety, ran him out. right two players split to the short side of the field on the left on first down Naki to throw again deep looking for Evans down the right side it is caught but out of bounds by Evans incomplete Motion to the right side. That's Dunahoo, the A-back. And Naki to throw. Looks right, throws left. Cross the middle, caught. And at the 45-yard line of Waxahachie, it's a first down. That's Ben Bruce, the tight end. Allen is over there along with Evans. Naki to throw again, looking left, deep down the left side for Boyd, it is caught! First down, inside the 20-yard line. That one's caught by Boyd, down at the 15-yard line. Moreland ran him out of bounds, knocking at the door early on, down to the 15-yard line. They're, well, they're actually gonna say, where do they mark him out of bounds? At the 16, 29 yards on the pass play, uh, and it's a first down for the Lions. Another, I mean, you just can't say enough about it. We'll be talking about it all night. That the pass that Max Naki throws is so exciting to watch. It's a perfect spiral. He has such great touch and puts that pass right on the money. Two receivers right for McKinney, one on the left side. Naki barking the signals. Good crowd. Two receivers right for McKinney, one on the left side. Naki barking the signals. Good crowd here at Texas Stadium, making a lot of noise. Early on, option pitch, left side. Here's Hollins, turns the corner, 15, out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Tyron Hollins, the senior S-back, run out of bounds, and the man who did it, Moreland, the left corner. It was a gain of six at second down and a long four. The ball just about the 10-yard line. 10.28 to play in a scoreless first quarter. Two receivers right, one on the left. Field split out wide. And here from the left hand side, operates McKinney. Now another receiver goes to the right side. That's Donahue. Here's Mackey looking to the right. Cross the middle. Pass by Donahue at the four-yard line. It'll be first and goal. He was really popped by Kindred, the free safety, as soon as he caught the football. But that shows what Max Knocky can do, George. He can burn you deep, and then he just threads the needle, hits those little paths. Donahue on the right. Also Ben Boyd on the right. And a third receiver, Evans, the three hot receivers all inside the field. First and goal at the four. Now he rolls to the right. It's heavy now. He's going to be dropped out of the 16-yard line. Daniel Garnett, the blitzing linebacker, comes through and makes the sack for a loss of 12. That's a lot of noise. Early on option pitch. Left side. Here's Hollins. Turns the corner. 15 out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Tyron Hollins, the senior S-back, run out of bounds. And the man who did it, Moreland, the left corner. Now, this is where Waxahachie tries to make some sort of stand. You know, they were so fired up when they came out of their locker room and over here on the sidelines. 
and that can really take the air right out of Hockey as he was rolling out to his right side. Second down and goal from the 16. It's Boyd splitting to the left side. Three receivers on the right. They move from the right hash mark. Collins the lone setback. 9.23 to play in the quarter. Here's Naki to throw. Across the middle, got a man too high. Overthrown, intended for the tight end, Ben Bruce. Brian, you have success, and then they start wondering what's... And Waxahachie's regained a little bit of that right now and, and try to make some sort of stand here with McKinney knocking on the door. It was a gain of six. At <laughs> here again, we've just about the 10 yard play. Side, good running yardage gain by Tyron Hollins, but now it's all business for Max Knocky and company through the air. Donahue is flanked to the left side, split wide left is Boyd on the right side. Wide right is Evans. Back to pass, Knocky looks right, throws in the corner, overthrows the tight end, Bruce. The free safety is soon football, but that shows what Max Knocky can do, George. He can burn you deep, and then he just threads the needle, hits those little passes. Well, he just sees the field so well, Craig. I mean, he just, he knows where every receiver is. They do a good job of, of going over where everyone will be in this run and shoot. Place kicking duties with Dunahoo will try a 32-yard field goal from the right hash mark. Holding is junior backup quarterback Mitch Alvarado. 32-yard attempt. Straight on kicker. Got a lot of leg in this one, and it's good. Job of finding what they call the hot, the hot receiver. Dunahoo. Also Ben Boyd on the right. And a third receiver, Evans, the three hot receiver. Great drive for McKinney. Tim plays 65 yards, 2 minutes and 50 seconds off the clock. They get the 32-yard field goal by Michael Anderson. But Craig Waxahachie did a good job of keeping the Lions out of the end zone there. And you credit the sack when they got the blitz on him and sacked Max Knocky for an 8-yard loss on the uh, blitz by Daniel Garnett. Six, the 12-yard loss. Avery Kindred is back deep on the kickoff team. Here's the kick. A line drive shot. What a booming kick out of the end zone. That one was just nailed. First and 10, and in the beer attack for Waxachi. First down handoff coming up the middle, straight up the middle. This is Dennis Walker, the right halfback. Walker is the leading rusher for Waxahachie with over 1,200 yards. He's a 5'6", 194-pound senior, and he picks up three to the 23. It'll be second and seven. Second and seven, 23. Dyer goes to the left side, hands off again. This time it's Overton. Overton, the left pass back across the 25. Got to the 26. Todd Sperry, the nose guard, made the tackle. Third and four at the 26. And the backs on the two back. Picks up about five to cross the 30. First and 10, Waxahachie. Indians operate from their 31, trailing 3-0. Seven and a half minutes to play first quarter. Option play down the right side. Here's Moore in trouble. Breaks a tackle. 35 and out to the 39-yard line. Lamont Moore looked as though he was going to be trapped behind the line of scrimmage by the left quarterback, Reese Allen, and he exploded with a burst of speed and managed to turn that into an eight-yard gain. Gain of eight. It's second and two. Waxahachie from the 39. Option play again. Pitch to the left side. This is Walker. Walker turns the corner at the 40, and he's brought down close to a first down by Manuel Washington, but he's near a first down at the 41. Good enough for a first down. Enough yardage. Indians pick up the first down, and they've done it all on the ground so far. Green-clad Waxahachie Indians, green jerseys, bright green helmets, gray trousers, green and white stripes. McKinney in blue trousers, white road jerseys, bright gold helmets, and blue numerals. On first and 10, hand off to Walker, the right halfback, across the 40 to the 42, maybe got a yard. Wing set to the right. Here's Moore. Deep pitch to the right side. Here's over to Torrance Corner. 45 midfield has a first down, and he's run out of bounds. Now is the wing back pointer who goes in motion left. Hand off to Walker, inside the 45, down to the 43. Wing right set, now coming down, here's Moore with a pitch, and the ball's loose, and McKinney's recovered the football, or did they? 
It's right down at midfield. The ball bounced loose. Winburn comes up with it. Halfway to the Waxahachie goal line. Three receivers on the left side, one split wide right, single back set. Naki's having trouble hearing, I think, or he got confused, and there's going to be a... <laughs> First and 15 for McKinney. The ball at the Lion 45. 437 to play, first quarter. It's three to nothing, Lions on top. Once again, McKinney stacks three receivers on the left side. They send Phillip Evans, a flanker, back as the lone receiver on the right. Option play to the right side. Here's a pitch. Holland turns the corner, 45, run out of bounds to the 49, 50-yard line. Got those five yards back. Flanker back. On second down and 10, back to pass. Naki goes deep down the middle. Got his man and dropping the football is Donahue. Robbie Donahue who had only to pull it in, and he could have tap danced into the end zone. Brian Richardson on the coverage, but Donahue just couldn't hold on to it. That's a rarity. Oh, yeah, that's going to say Robbie Donahue's a quarter. Boyd split wide left, and a slot left is Donahue. Two receivers split wide right. The tight end, Bruce, and the flanker back, Evans. Shotgun formation. Snap back. Naki steps up, throws across the middle. Caught at the 35-yard line of Waxahachie. Defensively, they can throw the ball so well. A lot of teams, you feel like you got them on the ropes when you have them third down and long. Not so with McKinney. That I haven't seen a third down that's been too long for them yet. Boyd split wide left. Two on the tight end. Bruce is in on the left. On the left side of the line. Single back set. It's Hollins. And jumping. There were some green jerseys jumping. Little bit of the hesitation on the count by Naki and Terrace Woods the left tackle might have been called offside let's see what the call is They're moving on both sides of the ball and they are offsides against Waxahachie so they came across and made penetration well they, they pointed towards well they walked it off the wrong way now we got to go on the officiating crew had walked the wrong way now the Waxahachie people don't like it they thought they uh. caught a break there uh, well our referee guy low says we can make mistakes it'll be first and five Lions from the Indians 30 yard line clock moving now 345 to play first quarter it's three nothing McKinney back to pass Naki throws fade pattern the corner caught inside the 10 five touchdown Lions on the left side in the corner Ben Boyd the split in 30 yards, and McKinney strikes through the air as they've done so often this season. Well, it's three nothing McKinney. Back to pass, Naki throws, fade pattern, the corner. Caught inside the 10, five, touchdown Lions on the left side, in the corner, Ben Boy to split in, 30 yards. One-on-one -on -one coverage with their split receivers, they have a good chance to score, and you throw the football like that, you're gonna put some points on the board. Wow, what a throw. Anderson, the straight-on kicker, who already has a 32-yard field goal, will attempt to add the conversion. Low snap, but it's down, and a line drive kick is good. 30-yard catch on the fade route, perfectly placed by Docky. The fade route, perfectly now. The tight end, Bruce, is in on the left. On the left side of the line, single back set, it's Hollins. And jumping, there were some green jerseys jumping, little bit of the hesitation on the count by Naki and Terrace Woods, the left tackle, might have been caught offside. Let's see what the call is. They're moving on both sides of the ball, and they are offsides against Waxahachie, so they came across and made penetration. Well, they, they pointed towards, well, they walked it off the wrong way. Now we got to go, and the officiating crew <laughs> had walked the wrong way. Now the Waxahachie people don't like it. They thought they uh. caught a break there. Uh, well, our referee, Guy Lowe, says we can make mistakes. Guy Lowe is the referee. The umpire, T.R. Taylor. Headlinesman is Mike Mole. The line judge, Pete Mayhill. I don't know. So business-like. Yeah, business-like. It, it, they've taken that cool, calculated approach into the game plan and just have taken it to success as here in the first quarter. Well, sometimes emotion can backfire on you. Four plays, 50 yards, 57 seconds. That's a great example of how quickly McKinney can strike. You know, it's a seven, it's a three-nothing game. Waxahachie's driving. All of a sudden, they turn it over. 
50 seconds later, they're down 10 nothing. I mean, that's what can happen to you when you play McKinney. And I think the Indians realize they're seeing a much different McKinney team than they saw on a sloppy, rainy, wet night in Ellis County. Lions to kick off. Backfire on you. Four plays, 50 yards, 57 seconds. Percent Avery Kindred and Dante Edwards. High, high kick, and this one is going to be fielded by Jefferson at the 5. Across the 10, 15, 20, running room across the 25, and brought down at the 28-yard line. Mitch Alvarado, the backup quarterback in there on special teams, making the tackle. First and 10, Waxahachie from the Indians, 29. And now the Indians trying to get things going, trailing 10-0. Option play. Here's Moore pitching the left side. It's Walker. Walker brought down. He got maybe a yard, but can't tackling. Matt Harper leading the charge to the right end for the Lions to limit Dennis Walker, the 1,200-yard rusher, to a single yard. The yard brings up second and nine from the Indians' 30. On the right side is the wing back. Tyrone Wofford is over on the right. And now we've got a stoppage in play because Waxahachie is uncertain of things and the Indians have taken a timeout. They took that timeout because there were just one second left on the play clock. They were about to get a delay a game, getting the play in late, so they decided to take the timeout to talk about it. Second and nine, the ball at the 30 for the Indians. 2.48 to play in the first quarter. One man in a wing that back split, and here's an inside man on top 30, 35, and Lee John Jefferson in a first down for the, for the Indians. Lee John Jefferson, just a sophomore, 5'8", 160-pounder. He's the man who backs up both Overton and Walker, and of course, Overton and Walker get all the attention, but here's a sophomore Jefferson with some good moves as he picks up 12 yards in a first down. Miller's a split end on the right side, and now Pointer back in on the left. Now he goes to motion right. Back split, first and ten, back to the halfback. Dennis Walker, the right halfback, up to about the 45. Picked up three, Todd Sperry, the nose guard, off the tackle. Nice play by Todd, jumping on his back and riding him to the ground. 5'10", 220-pound senior. Second and seven at the 45 for the Indians. Hand off, Overton, across 45, breaks the tackle at midfield with the 45, turns the corner, run out of bounds at the McKinney 35-yard line by Holland after he breaks it for 20 yards and another first down for Waxahachie. Pointer is the wing back on the right side. Now shifting is Overton, the left half. Option play to the right side, keeping his board. At the 30, breaks the tackle to the 25 and another Indians first down at the McKinney 22. Dennis Walker, the right half back with a good block, showing he could certainly do more than run the football. And there's Lamont Moore, the quarterback, taking it on the option play for a gain of 13 yards and a first down. Right hash mark. Here's Waxahachie threatening to, the, to score for the first time tonight with a minute 15 to play in the quarter. One receiver in motion. Here's Moore to throw for the first time. Now in trouble. Breaks the tackle. Here he is at the 20. Still has another man to beat. Does to the 15 and brought down at the 13-yard line. A gain of nine. Matt Harper on the stop. Laron Lawson with a block to help spring the quarterback. Will Mott Moore loose who turned chicken feathers in the chicken salad just then. Indians now inside the 20, their first penetration. They're at the 14, and the official stop play for a moment. Avery Kindred was in. Now they reset the football and say they're ready. And we have Corey Douglas in as a split end, a senior, 134-pounder on the right side. Now the motion to the left. From the left pass mark, hand off over to the inside, got about two, three, and he wiggles his way to the 11-yard line. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the high school football game of the week. 13 seconds to play in this first quarter. Waxahachie close to a first down. Our high school game of the week for Friday night. Tomorrow afternoon, Sam Houston High School of Arlington against San Angelo Central. Another pass versus run, wide open style of game. We could see a high scoring game tomorrow afternoon. We'll have it for you at 145. First down for Waxahachie. Now they took the official time out to measure. It looked like they were a little bit short, but Waxahachie wanted the measurement. They got that first down just by the nose of the football. They'll move from the left hash mark. On the right side, pointer the wing back. And in tight on the left side at tight end is Avery Kindred. And now once again, the Waxahachie back shift. 
Moore on the right side option. He's brought down before he picks the football. Winder, the right tight tackle, caught him from behind and drops him for a five-yard loss back to the 16. They're going to give it the 15-yard line. We've come to the end of the first quarter with the score. McKinney 10 and a threatening Waxahachie nothing. This is the high school game of the week on News 1080 KRLD. Texas Stadium as we begin the second quarter of play. Craig Way along with George Dunham. The McKinney Lions lead the Waxahachie Indians 10 to nothing in this Class 4A Region 2 regional playoff game. But the Indians are threatening. They have second down and 13 yards to go at the McKinney 15. The two split ends. Douglas and Wofford are split on the right side. Now they send Walker in motion to the left. It's a deep pitch to Overton on the left. Turns the corner to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Indian. Dennis Walker moved in motion, and Sandy Overton took the pitch, turned the corner, and he was gone. for the conversion now is Corey Pointer. Extra pointer, rather Daniel Garnett. The kick is up and it's good. And the Indians are right back in it. We're to the high school game of the week on News 1080 KRLD. On a 15-yard touchdown run by Sammy Overton. Boy, what speed he has. And that was a very good drive for Waxahachie. On the left side, the speed of Overton doing the trick. And so we have a three-point McKinney lead. Just five seconds into the second quarter. Allen, the deep man, awaiting the kickoff of Garnett. Daniel Garnett and Kenny uh, Waxhatch wasn't quite ready on the kickoff. Now set and try it again. Here's Garnett's kick. Line drive, not very deep. It bounces the tower. Bounces and now it's picked up. This is Lee Allen up along the left side the 25 and run out of bounds at the 28 yard yard line. So the Lions operate from their 28 now, having seen the Indians march 71 yards for their first score of the night. And you won't find a much better passing quarterback than Max Naki of McKinney, who leads his Lions up to the line of scrimmage. First and 10, McKinney. Two receivers on the left, two on the right side. And one man in motion, Dunahoo, to the right. Now rolling out. Here's Naki to throw deep on first down. Flag goes down. The pass is incomplete. It was intended for Ben Boyd, who thought he was pushed by Isaiah Moreland, the cornerback, and that may be what happened. Well, he's either pushed past 10 yards or he was held, and we'll see what this call is going to be. I believe this is going to be a holding call against Waxahachie, and it is. Guy low with the call. It was Isaiah Moreland, the cornerback, who is guilty of it. And you figured something was wrong because the pass was five yards in front of the receiver. Something must have gone wrong because the pass went right on the money so true and that 10-yard penalty gives McKinney a first down at the 40-yard line so it's good operating position again for the Lions with 11:44 to play in the first half 10 to 7 McKinney on top Evans the flanker back wide right the tight end Ben Bruce on the right side on the left side is Boyd and Dunahoo in a slot left Matter of fact, Holland's on the left side as well. No setbacks, and that spells trouble. And flags go down, and so does Naki back at the 25-yard line. A 15-yard loss. Farah, the strong side linebacker, in on the blitz and makes the tackle. Brad Lamb, the left end, also helping out. But now let's check the flag. It's holding against the line. They had to hold to try to keep him off. Farah was coming very hard from the outside. I tell you what Waxahachie's doing right now, Craig. On the corners, they're playing bump and run, which is very risky. They're relying on their linebackers to get the knocky on the blitz, and they're trying to hold and jam the receivers with their cornerbacks. They can do that because they have some good athletes back there. Pruitt and Moreland on the corners are very good, but you're taking a chance when you play bump and run coverage. It worked that time. So it's going to be second and 24, the ball up to 26, a 14-yard loss. Two receivers split to each side of the field. The lone setback is Holland. Naki to take the snap, drops back quickly, blitz coming, deep pass down the left side, incomplete, 
and either a good job by Moreland to hold up Boyd at the line, yeah. or Boyd just never got loose. Garnett also forced on the blitz that ball to be thrown quickly. Let's watch that Moreland versus Boyd battle again. Out of the shotgun on third and 24. Naki with the snap, pump, trouble. He goes down, and there's our friend Fred Creighton. The 5'5", 147-pound linebacker coming in on the blitz. He drops Naki behind the 20 back at the 19-yard line, a loss of seven more. They blitzed on every play on that series. Waxahachie is really gambling defensively, but you have to take some chances. I mean, you cannot let a quarterback like Max Naki sit back and have time to throw it. You have to mix up your coverages, blitz, and right now Waxahachie's doing a good job of that. This will be the first McKinney punt of the night, and Naki does the punting for the Lions. Sets up inside his five-yard line to the four. Low snap. He hauls it in and gets away. A line drive kick. Not a bad one. Fielded, however, on the fly at the midfield strike by Dante Edwards. Edwards brought down, and the flags go down. 33 yards on the kick. Edwards brought down at the 49-yard line. Loki in on the tackle for McKinney. Check this flag. It was thrown right where the tackle was made, but there was also some green shirts in there. Looked like they were trying to block, and it is a clip against the Indians of Waxahachie. So that's going to cost the Indians from the spot of the foul, 15 yards. They're moving back to inside the 40-yard line. That's about where Craig Miller is on the McKinney sideline. Let's go down to him. Hey, guys, after that last series, it's going to be a holding call against Waxahachie, and it is. I will with the call. It was Isaiah Borland, the cornerback. That play again, it's a grade school play. The play that uh, Waxahachie scored the touchdown on. He had all of them over there except for Kagan Morgan, the linebacker, who was having his ribs checked. See how he does on this series. First and 10 on the 34. Wing right set now as the flanker. Pointer is on the right side. And it is an option right, keeping more across the 40. Breaks the tackle to the 45, and then he's swung out of bounds Ooh. at the 47-yard line. Scott Phillips and the Waxahachie coaching staff all over the line judge, Pete Mejia, asking for a late hit. He was swung out of bounds by J.T. Hollins, the free safety. Tyrone Wofford is the wing back on the right side now for the Indians. Back split it behind Moore. Wofford in motion to the left side. It's first and 10. Indians at their own 48. Handoff over to got about a yard to the 49. And then there's three white jerseys around him. James credited with the tackle and jumping in was Kelly Loki, and that was dangerously close to a that, late hit. That was pretty close. Gain of two, it's second and eight at the midfield strike. One man, Pointer, lined up on the left side, and Pointer's gonna get the counter handoff. Breaks the tackle the midfield, turns the corner at the 45, and down at the McKinney 43-yard line. Making the tackle was Reese Allen. Counter option coming around the right side for the wing back, Corey Pointer. They've run that play a couple of times. They didn't really have the room to run it like they did the first time that they tried it. It's a little bit short of the first down. It'll be third and inches for the Indians. That's their kind of third down. Anytime you can have success running the football on first or second down, you're probably going to be successful with your option offense. Third down and inches for Waxahachie. And now the clock starts to move again with 9.20 to play in the half. Pointer, the wing back on the right side from the right hash mark. Now in motion to the left is Walker, the right half straight ahead. A lot more keeper. First out inside the 40. He sent guys left. He sent guys right. And then he just leans forward and gets the first down. Didn't need much. They just needed about six or seven inches or so. That's a good play to run. And you're right, the field spread out so far like that. McKinney can only do so much. First and 10. The ball at the McKinney 40. Here come the Indians on the march again. In motion is the wing back. Wofford, option to the left side. Lamont Moore, keeper, and he slides down after turning it inside for a gain of about three yards to the 37. Sperry on the tackle for McKinney. Tim Wimbert also getting in there. I'll tell you, you know, what Waxahachie is doing now is not very complex. They're going double tight end, a lot of power football, just trying to go straight ahead with their option beer offense and go right at McKinney. They feel like with their size up front, they can move the ball against the Lions. And so far, they have done that in all three drives. Pointer, the wing back, lined up pretty tight on the right side. Now the back shift, Overton and Walker, option to the right side. Here's Moore in trouble. Late pitched Overton, and he gets it. Turns the corner at the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. Watch the hatchy. An incredible run by Sandy Overton on the late pitch. 
He tight ropes the sideline, turns it up the field, touchdown, 37 yards. down with the option offense a 37 yard touchdown run by sammy overton his second of the night the other one came earlier in the second quarter from 15 yards out that drive six plays 66 yards in two minutes and 27 seconds off the clock a four-point lead now for the waxahachie engines they don't want the play in the first half of course the blue and gold cranked up and that waxahachie lines up Meanwhile, across the way, the McKinney fans say, go Lions. Trying to get the blue and gold cranked up. And watch that. He lines up for the kickoff. Reese Allen, the deep man. He's flanked by J.T. Hollins and Phillip Evans. And that's Ben Boyd back deep instead of Evans. Had a little huddle at the 40-yard line. Now breaking out of it for the kickoff. Wide drive kicked by Garnett, and it's going to be Boyd. No, picked up by Allen. 13 across the 20. Run out of bounds by Lee John Jefferson at the 32-yard line. McKinney sends two receivers on the left, one on the right. Here's Naki against the blitz. He did the fumble. The ball picked up. It's a turnover. Daniel Garnett, the middle linebacker, recovers the fumble. Reggie Massey, the right end, pounds in the back. Naki, it's a turnover and Waxahachie takes over at the McKinney 20-yard line. They do it with the blitz again. They're gambling, but it's paying off, and sometimes you just have to take your chances, and the chances that are being taken now by Waxahachie are starting to benefit their defense. Reggie Massey, the right end, 197-pound senior with the hit, and all of a sudden, Here's Waxahachie with all kinds of momentum and a 14 to 10 lead to boot. 7.52 to play in the half. First, first and 10. Four, the quarterback. Rolls out to the left side. Play fake, wanting to throw. Does throw to the end zone. Incomplete. Overthrow. Him. Tried to hit John Tyler, the split end, and just threw it, overthrew him just a little bit too much on the right side. Second and 10 now. For Waxahachie at the McKinney 20. By the way, they do pick up Ocean here after the turnover. Option play to the right side. Flag goes down. Here's Moore with a late pitch. Over to get a walk into the end zone, but let's check the flag. It, it would be a 20-yard touchdown run on that option play executed perfectly, but let's check the penalty flag. That's Indians are so very quick turning the corner. McKinney's got to find an answer for that. Well, they got six guys up on the line of scrimmage, and really, for the most part, in many cases, they played the option pretty well. It's just in these key situations. When Waxahachie's been in scoring position, they've gotten their blockers out there to get them set up well for the option. Watford is the wing back. He's on the right side. Back split. Here's Moore, the quarterback, under center. First down and 10, Moore, handoff inside. This one to Wofford on that counter by the wing back, and he turns it inside, but got about to five yards to the 20 after the five-yard penalty on first and 15. It's a good play to run. It's a, really a change-up from the, from the option offense. Craig Miller still down on the McKinney sideline. Let's go down to him. Next series, if you see J.V. Lattimore come out from McKinney and he doesn't have a head on, that's because it was bitten off by one of the coaches. 
Lattimore got the chew out of the century, and we'll tell you more about it after this play. Third down and 10, the ball at the 20. Wing right set now for Waxahachie. Back split behind Lamont Moore, the quarterback. Pointer is the wing back right. Moore takes the snap, handoff, Walker running room, breaks a tackle, he's brought down at the 15, short of the first down. Alex Little, the weak side linebacker, saved the first down and a touchdown. Back to Craig Miller. One of the coaches went up to uh, Ben Bruce, the tight end, when the McKinney Lions were coming off the field, and he started to chew him out, and Ben, being the good friend of JB that he is, said it wasn't my fault, it was JB's fault. So then the coach went after JB. He was the guy that let the Indian get to Max Naki and knock him down. And that Indian who did the knocking was Reggie Massey. Watch that. He will try a 32-yard field goal. This is Daniel Garnett. It's blocked. It's blocked. And it is what by McKinney at the 15-yard line. Tim Winburn came over to get a right hand up. He blocks the field goal. And the momentum, at least for the moment, swings back to the Lions. Oh, that's a great play. That's just nothing but a great play by Tim Winburn. He just went right up the middle, got a good rush, and he was right on top of the holder when he blocked that. That is excellent for the block. And the Lions take over. Down four points. It's 14 to 10. Waxahachie, 6-15 to play in the first half. Naki back in under center. We'll see if McKinney can handle the blitz now. Waxahachie, no blitz this time. Option play. And Naki's going to see if McKinney can handle the blitz now. Walks the hatch. No blitz this time. Option play. And Naki's brought down. Got, got about two yards to the 17. Garnett, who recovered the earlier fumble by the Lions, makes the tackle. It is second down. Eight yards to go. The ball at the 17. 540 to play in the half. Two receivers on the right. Indians jumping. Back to pass. Naki throws deep down the right side. The ball is incomplete. Intended. On the right side for Evans, the flanker back. Excellent coverage by Rodney Pruitt at the left corner. Yeah, very good coverage. I, I'm really impressed with Isaiah Moreland and Rodney Pruitt. They had done a, a very good job of the coverage on the... Ooh, we got roughing the passer on Waxahachie. I didn't see the flag call back there. And they roughed the passer. They roughed Max Naki. I'm not sure who it was that hit him. That would have cost the Indians 15 yards after they had made a good play. Well, that'll be a first down for McKinney, and the Lions were trying to find an answer, and they get a little help from Waxahachie with the infraction. And so the Indians, who had all the momentum and who were playing terrific defense after those early drives by McKinney, now got backed up a little bit there on the penalty. First and 10, Lions, the ball at the McKinney 31. Each team with two timeouts remaining in the first half. 5.33 to go in the half. Two receivers on the right, one on the left. Single back set is Holland. Here is Naki. Screen across the middle, incomplete, and nearly picked off by Mark Odom, the strong safety. Once again, Garnett coming hard on the rush. Second and 10 at the 31. Let's see the, let's just say the problem with that, they didn't have a back to pick him up from the outside because Tyron Hollins was going for the screen pass. Two receivers on the right and one on the left. And here's Naki, takes the snap, rolls to the right side, looking for a receiver, throws, it's caught by Evans. What a catch by Ben Boyd, the split end. Boyd across the 45 to the 48. Moreland makes the tackle on the run, in stride, across the middle, 15 yards and a first down, McKinney. Boyd now splits wide left. Three receivers line up, they flood the right side of the field. Now they start who in motion left. Here's Naki, looking left, wants to throw, does throw the left side, one-handed catch made by Dunahoo in, in Indian territory at the 49, Edwards makes the tackle. It'll be second and six after the four-yard gain on the pass, the quick pass to Dunahoo across the middle. And McKinney on the march with 4.26 to play, play in the half. Dunahoo in motion left. Naki dropping back, looks right, throws right for Evans, caught at the 30, and a first down, Philip Evans, flanker back, down to the Waxahachie 23, threw it on the tackle, double coverage, Kindred was helping out, but it didn't stop Philip Evans from hauling in that pass from Max Naki for 26 yards. Yeah, he had the safety help, but you cannot stop that. I mean, you can just not stop that if the, if the pass is on the money. When the fade route is run like that, and the pass is on the money, 
There's nothing a defensive back can do but run step for step with him and watch the pass go over his head and into the receiver's hands. It's a great play to run if you can execute it, and McKinney can certainly execute that play. Once again, Evans lined up on the right. The right, Donahue or Boyd split to the left side. Collins is the single setback. Back to pass against the blitz. Knocky throws deep in the corner. It's complete. Ben Boyd, the intended receiver, ran in to Moreland, the cornerback. There was contact back there, but Moreland was looking back, and he had position. That's probably why you didn't see the flag. G54 to play in this first half. Waxachi leads McKinney 14 to 10. Second and 10, McKinney at the Indians, 24. Three receivers on the left. Option play right side, Naki the keeper, and really did not fool Brad Lamb, the defensive end, who comes over and stops Naki for a gain. Oh, look, they'll give him two yards to the 22. Now it's third down and eight yards to go at the 22. Ben Boyd splits wide left. Donahue in a slot left. Three receivers on the right. Naki looking left to throw. Does fade it on the left side. This will be caught by Boyd for a touchdown. There are flags on the field. Two flags thrown. This isn't coming back. This is defensive interference against Waxahachie. They held the receiver up. run coverage if you don't stay with your guy and run with him after you bump him you probably let up a big play donahue with an important conversion coming up just to make it a three-point lions lead and he does 306 to play in the first half until 10 tonight with a huge tree for all this is us until 10 tonight with a huge tree for all this is hey let's come back down after this kickoff all right here's the squib kickoff down the middle picked up by Dante Edwards, and he's going to be brought down, game tackled by the Lions. They'll mark it at the 19-yard line. All right, first and 10, Waxahachie from the Indians, 19-yard line. We have exactly three minutes to play first half. McKinney showing blitz, option play to the left side. Here's more keeping, brought down from behind. Kelly Loki, the left end, just grabbed on and rode him down to the artificial surface, a gain of two yards to the 21. That's the way they're going to have to stop the option is just get some sort of penetration, and a lot of that will fall on the defensive end. They have to be able to break in there and disrupt the uh, option lanes there for Waxahachie. Loki did a good job of it that time. Coming out now of the game is Pointer. Wofford is in. Wing back. Clock moving. 2.25 to go. Second and eight. Waxahachie from the Indians, 21. Option this time to the right side. Moore looking, turning, keeping, has the first down, and Moore at the 30, out of bounds, at the 39-yard line of Waxahachie. Walker throws a good block. Moore turns it around the corner and picks up the first down, a gain of 16 yards. First to 10 at the 39. Two minutes to play in the half, the clock moving. Indians have two timeouts. One man, pointer, in motion to the right. And a play fake, the throw to the right side, pass, tipped, intercepted! The Lions come up with it. Kelly Loki, who plays that tip drill about as well as anyone in high school football that I know of, comes up with a tip pass and an interception at the Waxahachie 36-yard line. It was either Kelly Loki or Ronnie James that tipped it to begin with, and I believe it was Kelly Loki that tipped it and then caught it himself. Good play by Kelly Loki. They were trying to hit... The wing back pointer here on the near side with just a little swing pass out of the flat. Kelly Loki disrupted that all on his own. Jumped up in the air, got his hands up, tipped it, and then had the presence of mind to catch it. Got to watch here. 147 to go in the half. We saw McKinney score two touchdowns in this amount of time in a minute 46 against Dennison four weeks ago. Here's Naki to throw across the middle. Too high intended on the right side for Reese Allen, who would come in as... the end of the first half that we're going to catch you up on scores of other games. Back to pass. 
knocking across the middle, caught by Donahue, had to reach back to the football. Down. Third and four, the ball at the 30. Two receivers on the right, two on the left for the Lions. Naki, the quarterback, under seven. Takes the snap. Swing pass, right side, caught. This one by Evans out of the 25-yard line. That's Reese Allen who makes the catch. The A-back, and he runs out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Out of the shotgun now, raises the left leg, takes the snap, blitz coming, knocking throws across the middle, incomplete. Five seconds to play in the half. Two receivers on the left of the Lions. It is second down and ten. Naki is back under center, takes the snap, quick drop back, throws to the left side, overthrows Ben Boyd, tried to hit Boyd on the left and overthrew it. Where do you see wing back? We got a flanker back, an A back, an S back. Well, they'll run the, all kinds of back. from the wing position. They'll, they'll line somebody up at a wing and run him across the middle. I am joking because of all the different backs that Ron Poe says he uses. It's third and ten. Here's Naki rolling out to the left side. Got some time. Throws across the middle. Caught at the 15-yard line by Boyd. It should be a first down. Right at the 15-yard line, but there are flags down at uh -oh. the 30. This might be holding against McKinney. It is. Oh, no. Don't have them beat yet because they can find a way to get to that first down marker even on third down and what will be a long way third down and 20 something another important stat here that penalty denied mckinney a penetration penetrations right now are even at three apiece remember waxatchee has two touchdowns but they got a penetration when they had the field goal attempt block it's third and 24 lions the ball Resting on the Waxahachie, 39. 31 seconds to play in the half. Out of the shotgun. Naki taking the snap blitz. Coming in trouble. Steps up. Throws incomplete. He was really pressured. Fred Creighton coming in. if they're going to get it off. Down the 10 seconds, Lions will have to hurry to the line of scrimmage. Down the 5 seconds, McKinney out of the shotgun. And now, Naki calls timeout. Play clock was about to expire, and the Lions do call time. That's true. Fourth and 24, McKinney will go for it. 24 seconds to go in the half. Split receivers, two on either side of the field. Naki, under center, takes the snap, drops back, throws deep down the right side, got Boyd open, and overthrew him. That was Reese Allen. Open on the right side. He overthrew Allen. Owed him on the coverage, but the pass too far. And the Indians take over with 19 seconds to play in the half. That
passing setup now. They've got two receivers, Corey Douglas and Corey Pointer, split wide right. Single back set, first time we've seen it tonight, and here is Moore to throw. Pump in trouble, and he goes down at the 31-yard line. Ronnie James, the tackle, got it. Playoff game, the McKinney Lions 17, the Waxahachie Indians. This is the high school football game of the week on News 1080 KRLD. Fine in the Caribbean this fall, and for seven glorious football game of the week on News 1080 KRLD. of a McKinney mistake, but Wasahatchee lining up the field goal, and it's blocked. Back will try a 32-yard field goal. This is Danny Bell, and it's blocked. The field goal is blocked, and it is recovered by McKinney at the 50. Field goal, and the momentum, at least for a moment, twinks back to the line. Team to give their offense a little bit of momentum. Max Knocky again finding receivers. Back at Texas Stadium, we're ready for the final two. Play in the first half, Max Knocky with 176 yards passing for the uh, Waxahachie Indians, 189 yards rushing. Both offenses, Craig. Back at Texas Stadium, we're ready for the final two quarters of play in the first half. Michael Anderson will do the kicking. We're going to have highlights and statistics from this game. Scores for that. Actually, that's going to be Robbie Dunahoo who will kick off for McKinney. Back deep to receive Jefferson, Kindred, and Edwards. Underway in the second half, and it's fielded by Jefferson on the three-yard line. Straight up the middle, across the 20, breaks the tackle to the 30, to the 40, and he's at a cross midfield in one tackle away from going all the way and you can add a late penalty a late hit on McKinney on the tackle 52 yards on the kickoff return and it will be a face mask penalty on the tackle as LeJohn Jefferson was brought down at the 46 yard line well, from the McKinney 41 yard line. Corey Pointer, the flanker on the right side. Here running the option, Lamont Moore, the quarterback, breaks two tackles inside the 40 and down to the 36 yard line. He was tackled by Keegan Morgan, the strong side linebacker. Again, the Waxahachie offense. The tackles, Laron Lawson and Joe Garber. The guards, Courtney Campa and Chris Johnson. The center is Chris Kelly. The tight end, Brian Ford. The split ends, they will alternate. John Dollar, Corey Douglas, also Avery Kindred, the wing backs will alternate on plays. Corey Pointer and Tyrone Wofford. The quarterback, Lamont Moore. The left half back, Sandy Overton. The right half back, Dennis Walker. Second and five, the ball at the 36 yard line. One man in motion to the left side. That's Wofford for Waxahachie. Hand off to Overton inside the 35 to the 34 yard line. Todd Sperry, the nose guard, makes the tackle for McKinney. The Lions have on their front line the ends, Matt Harper and Kelly Loki. The tackles, Ronnie James and Tim Winberg. Sperry is the nose guard. Linebackers, Alex Little and Kagan Morgan. Cornerbacks, Reese Allen and Manuel Washington. The safeties, Kevin Marsh and J.T. Hollins. Third and three, Waxahachie at the McKinney 34 after the big kickoff return and the penalty to start the second half. Back shift into the eye. 
And first man through, big running move. Make it back to this one. Dennis Walker, 34 yards, touchdown. Waxahachie, the Indians go back on top. Again. four-yard run by Dennis Walker. Here's the conversion try. It's good by Daniel Garnett. And so, just a minute and 31 seconds into the second half, the score now is Waxahachie 21 and McKinney 17. You're listening to the High School Game of the Week on News 1080 KRLD. 10:29 to play in the third quarter here. 41-yard drive and three plays. George did not take Waxahachie long at all to score. Boy, that's a big run by Walker. And again, that right side, when they have had success running the football, it has been to the right side. Chris Johnson, Joe Garver over on that right side have done a very good job tonight. They blew a hole wide open for Walker over there. He did a good job of crashing through the line of scrimmage, getting through the hole quickly. Then it was just off to the races. So the Indians take the lead 21-17. They also have the edge and penetrations. We continue to mention that because it is the first tiebreaker if this game should wind up in a tie. It is a four-point lead at the moment. Here comes the Waxahachie kickoff, and now they shift back again, and the kick coming now by Garnett. High driving kick to Boyd Fields on the two-yard line. Across the 10, this is Allen. Across the 20 and run out of bounds at the 24-yard line. And McKinney will operate from the Lions' 24-yard line. It's first and 10 at the 25. Mike Kazmersky is a backup tight end, by the way. Or it's Chris Kazmersky, by the way, is the backup tight end. First down, swing pass over the middle. Oh, and you heard the oohs and ahs from the crowd. As the You're listening to the High School Game of the Week on News 1080 KRLD. Second and six, the ball to 29, 9.45 to play third quarter. Handoff inside Hollins. Hollins drags a couple tacklers with him, and he goes to the 34. Farrar and Kindred on the tackle. Fa uh, Farrar, I should say. Farrar and Kindred on the tackle at the 34-yard line. Nine and a half minutes to play in this third quarter. Winner of this game will get the winner of tomorrow night's matchup, which, by the way, will be played at Texas Stadium. Roosevelt High of Dallas against Pitch, the East Texas powerhouse. Third and a yard to go for McKinney from the Lions, 34. Two receivers on the left, one on the right, backs in the eye. Two running backs in the eye. And it is a handoff. Hollins breaks the tackle, 35, and then lost the football. He fumbled it. McKinney fell back on it. The Lions get it back, and they will also have a first down. Jason Bona, the left tackle, alertly got on that football at the 38. He was in the right place at the right time. Ball bounced right up into his hands, and a fortunate bounce for McKinney. Good run by Tyron Hollins. He had some room over here to the left side and then broke it out towards the sideline to get enough for the first down. And so the Lions now starting to march again, trailing by four. Seesaw game. McKinney led it 10 0 early. Walks at you with 14 points to go up 14 10. McKinney with a late first half touchdown to go up 17 14. And now the Indians have retaken the lead. First and 10. Lions from their own 38. Two receivers on the left, one on the right. Here's Naki in trouble. He's going to be sacked back at the 25 yard line. Great pressure applied by Reggie Massey and Fred Creighton over to drop Naki back at the 25-yard line, a loss of 13, make it 12 yards. They dropped him at the 26. They look like they're talking over something here where the ball is being marked and the Waxahachie fans aren't happy about something. I mean, is this a roughing call or is there no flag? I didn't see a flag down. I think they might have saw the ball come out after he was down on the ground and they wanted so. a, a fumble call. Second and 22, McKinney from the 26. Ben Boyd, the senior split end, goes to the left side. Two receivers on the right. One back set, that's Hollins. Naki with a blitz look from Waxahachie. Here it comes. A little flare pass to the left side. The fade works, and Boyd makes the catch all the way out to the 44-yard line. 
Richardson runs him out of bounds, but it's 18 yards just on that pass. Now it's third and four. Ben Boyd is now the leading receiver for McKinney coming into this game. It was Robbie Dunahoo who had the lead, but his uh, first half performance has put him over the uh, mark of 800 yards in receiving for the year, and he's now the leading receiver for the Lions. Been a great season for Ben Boyd. Made another good catch there. One man split wide right for McKinney. That's Phillip Evans, the flanker back. Three receivers on the short side of the field. That's the left side. Third and three for the Lions. Knocky to pass. Screen across the middle. Caught Donahue. First down at the Waxahachie 48. Mark Odom, the safety on the tackle, but a first down. The screen over the middle. That was that third quarter here. 41-yard drive in three plays. George did not take Waxahachie long at all to score. Boy, that's a big run by Walker. And again, that right side, when they have had success running the football, it has been to the right side. Chris Johnson, Joe Garver over on that right side have done a very good job tonight. They blew a hole wide open for Walker over there. He did a good job. First and 10, McKinney at the Waxahachie 48. Seven and a half minutes to play. Third quarter. Two receivers, three receivers on the right, one on the left. Naki looks off, the receiver to the left, throws across the middle, this one's caught by the tight end, boost to the 25, to the 20, and down inside the Indians' 20-yard line to the 19, Richardson on the tackle. After the tight end, Ben Bruce makes his second big catch of the night. This one for 29 yards. Now the races. So the Indians take the lead 21-17. They also have the edge in penetrations. We continue to mention that because it is the first tiebreaker if this game should wind up in a tie. It is a four-point lead at the moment. Here comes the Waxahachie kickoff, and now they shift back again, and the kick coming now. Bruce flanked to the right, and Boyd on the left. First down, option play. Keeper, Naki, to the 15, to the 10, and down to the 8-yard line. Max Naki runs the option and picks up good yardage. Matter of fact, another first down for the Lions. It'll be first and goal McKinney at the Waxahachie 8. Driving kick to Boyd Fields on the 2-yard line. Across the 10, this is Allen. Across the 20 and run out of bounds at the 24-yard line. And McKinney will operate from the Lions' 24-yard line. Craig Miller back down on the sidelines for the second half. That's right, Craig Way, and uh, two receivers right, two on the left. First down, McKinney from the left hash mark at the eight-yard line. Here's Holland, handoff inside the five to the three. He gains five. Garnett wouldn't let him get any more than that. Dick's a hatchet side. I've got a, a young man here who's keeping stats. What's your name? Uh, Sean Hollibo. And how'd you get this uh, stat job? Uh, one of my friends, Mike Kismerski, uh, got moved up to varsity, and uh, I asked one of the coaches, Coach Blasco, if I could take over, take over his place in the uh, uh, playoffs. I know, Mike. Hold up. From the three. On the right side is Evans, and Dunahoo on the left is Boyd. Collins the lone setback, left hash mark. Max Naki, the quarterback under center, turns, option keeper, drags a tackler forward, and dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Max Naki can also run the football. We were talking about the first and 10 at the 25. Mike Kazmersky's a backup tight end, by the way. Or it's Chris Kazmersky, by the way, is the backup tight end. First down, swing pass over the middle. Oh, and you heard the oohs and ahs from the crowd as a strong safety. Brian Richardson just flattened Robbie Dunahoo after he caught the little hitch pass across the middle and he takes it for four yards the hard way back to Craig Miller uh, did you get to go in the locker room at halftime Michael Anderson so rare to see the straight on kickers these days but he is true straight down the middle 557 to play third quarter the new score McKinney 20 you see if you make reservations I mean, it's just use the bathroom or something like that. Is there anything special to get these guys fired up tell them not to quit and that's about it. Keep trying. Okay. All right. Second and six. The ball to 29. 941. 10 plays, 75 yards, 4 minutes and 27 seconds off the clock. Half of the uh, first half first downs were rushing, or uh, one of 12. Those uh, first half first downs were rushing for McKinney. You can tell they've been doing it in the air. And in the second half, three out of their five first downs. Here's the kickoff taken by Corey Porter. Breaks the tackle, fumble the football at the 44-yard line. Scramble for the ball, and Waxahachie got it back. A close shave for the Indians. Penetration's even at four, but McKinney has the edge on the scoreboard. Waxahachie has it first and 10 from the Indians, 45. 
Back split. Now going in motion to the right side is Overton. There's a toss to the right. And here is Walker breaking tackles to the midfield. Breaks another. Fumble the football. Scramble for the ball. McKinney gets it back at the Lions 33-yard line. There's still a tangle of bodies down on the 33, but McKinney has come up with the loose football. Daniel Washington, the right cornerback, comes up with the turnover. Texas powerhouse. Third and a yard to go for McKinney from the Lions 34. Two receivers on the left, one on the right, backs in the eye. Two running backs in the eye. And it is a handoff. Hollins breaks the tackle 35 and then lost the football. He fumbled it. McKinney fell back on it. The Lions get it back. And they will also have a first down. Jason Bona, the left tackle, alertly got on that football at the 38. He was in the right place at the right time. Ball bounced right up into his hands. And a fortunate bounce for McKinney. Good run by Tyler. Splits to the left side. Once again, the Lions flood the right with three receivers. Lone setback, Tyron Hollins, the senior. Naki running the option. First down. Now a pitch to Hollins. He's run out of bounds at the 36. Craig Miller's been down there on the sidelines. Craig, one thing we notice is that McKinney picked up three of their five second half first downs running the football. Looks like they're having a little bit more success here. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed this second half in comparison to the first is that the intensity level is much higher on both sides. The Waxahachie kids came out really pumped up. The McKinney kids are really fired up. They're getting tense as this game gets closer and closer to the end. It was a gain of five on the pitch to Hollins and it's second and five. Lions from the McKinney 37. Three receivers this time on the short side of the field. On the left, Naki looks to the right. He'll throw to the right. To the one receiver, it's caught. Phillip Evans, no, incomplete. And a good defensive play made by Rodney Pruitt. We hear the left side and then broke it out towards the sideline. To get enough for the first down. And so the Lions now starting to march again, trailing by four. Seesaw game. McKinney led it 10-0 early. Walks at you with 14 points to go up 14-10. McKinney with a late first half touchdown to go up 17-14. And now the Indians have retaken the lead. First and 10, Lions from their own 38. Two receivers on the left, one on the right. Here's Waxahachie trying to put the brakes on that McKinney offensive attack. Once again, three receivers. Now Donahue goes in motion to the left. There's two on each side. Naki back to pass on the right, throws. Caught by the tight end, Bruce, across the 45. To the midfield stripe and a first down into Waxahachie territory at the 49-yard line. Ben Bruce on the pass for some 14 yards and a McKinney first down. And he's sacked back at the 25-yard line. Great pressure applied by Reggie Massey and Fred Creighton over to drop Naki back at the 25-yard line, a loss of 13, make it 12 yards. They dropped him at the 26. They look like they're talking over something here where the ball is being marked and, and the Waxahachie fans aren't happy about something. I mean, is this a rough... First and 10, McKinney. Naki back to pass again, in trouble. Now he goes straight up the middle, keeping himself and charges straight into the linebacker, Garnett. And he's down at the 40-yard line. Avery Kindred was the man that Naki just lowered the shoulder and ran into him. But you got to admire the quarterback, Max Naki, running headlong in Avery Kindred. He picks up nine yards. He does it every time. Scramble, he has never shied away from contact. He almost seeks contact. Kindred was waiting for him there, and he lowered his shoulder, put his helmet down, and caused a collision there. And you know... That's a, that's a big one. You don't see many quarterbacks do that, but Max Naki runs hard. Now Boyd splits to the left. Donahue in a wing left, and also in a wing right is Evans. Left, and also in a wing right is Evans. Back to pass. Naki throws. Left side incomplete. Ball tipped away by the strong safety. Throws. Left side incomplete. Ball tipped away by the strong safety Richardson. Brian Richardson got a, made a good defensive play, and then Donahue was leveled by Isaiah Moreland, the cornerback. And Robbie Donahue stays down on the artificial surface. Well, that was a little bit rough. I mean, it's part of Walks at you, 40. The Lions, 6 of 9 in the third down department so far tonight. They'll have Evans on the right. Split wide left is Boyd. And in the slot on the left side is Reese Allen. Third down, a yard to go. I formation backfield. And here's Hollins on the handle. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and knocked down by Dante Edwards. Edwards. Coming over from his right end spot, he levels Tyron Hollins short of the first down. Boy, big time short. If you're a defensive back, you want to dish out punishment, but that ball, there's no doubt about it, it had already gone over the receiver's head, and Moreland delivered a hit that was a bit late. I mean, it was a big hit, too. 
Four minutes and 38 seconds to play in the third quarter. So McKinney elects to give up the football on fourth and two. And Roxahatchee not completely buying it. They're looking for a fake. They don't send a, anyone really that deep. They do have one man standing on the 30-yard line. Naki does get the football, and he does kick it. A line drive shot that may make the end zone if Allen can't catch it. And it got right past Allen into the end zone. And the McKinney fans thought that the ball was touched by it Isaiah was. Moreland. He hit it. He uh, is receiving some attention from the McKinney coaching staff. And kind of the way he's moving on the side, you might think he had the wind knocked out of him. We certainly hope it's nothing more serious than that. And now let's go down the sidelines to Craig Miller, who's on the Waxahachie side. And we're on the Waxahachie bench with a couple of uh, the team doctors. Your name? Dr. Williams. Dr. Williams and Dr. Rick Reddington. And we were uh, talking about the hit out here, and, and this game has been relatively injury-free thus far, hasn't it? 4 to 21. Wolford in on the left side. He is the wing back. But that's Pointer, and Pointer goes to the right. Hand off on first down. Good running room. And that's the halfback, Dennis Walker. Walker across the 25 out to the 28-yard line. J.T. Hollins was the one that finally tripped him up. The team has been in great condition all year. A few years back, we've had lots of injuries to take care of, but our coach has got these kids in great shape, and we don't have much to do. We really don't. I noticed you had one kid, uh, uh, Wolford, over here. What was got wrong speared. with him? He got speared on that. He recovered the fumble, and one of the McKinney players speared him in the back. And uh, your headset's I'm on? I'm listening to your guys. Yeah. Starts. At 94 yards, it's second and two after the eight-yard gain to the 28. Now Overton in motion right. Here's a toss to the left side, and now Walker in trouble. He's brought down. What a nice play by, by the strong safety, Kevin Marsh. Just grabbed onto that leg. He was in the rodeo. McKinney will face a third and one at the Waxahachie 40. The Lions, six of nine in the third down department so far tonight. They'll have Evans on the right. Split wide left is Boyd, and in a slot on the left side is Reese Allen. Third down, a yard to go. I formation backfield, and here's Hollins on the handle. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and knocked down by Donkling McKinney, 24-21. Two and a half minutes to play here in the period. Back split behind the quarterback, Lamont Moore. Corey Porter, the wing back on the right now, goes in motion to the left side. Moore, handoff, third down, spinning for the first down, Overton. Got past three white jerseys, and he lunges forward to the 34-yard line, a gain of five and a first down for the Indians. I'll tell you, that's a tough way to make a living, just running in between the tackles down there. Overton didn't have much to work with, and he had to bounce off a tackle to bounce his way towards that first down. That was a gutty run there by Sammy Overton. Nice block also by the tight end, Chris Kazmersky. Now Pointer is out. Wolford is back in. As we tick down the two minutes to play in the period. First and 10, Waxahachie, the ball from the Indians, 33. In motion is Wolford to the left side. The backs are split. Here's the handoff. This time Walker breaks, tackles across the 40, out to the 41. Dennis Walker just running hard, and he picks up seven yards. He's up to 110 yards on the night. Edwards coming over from his right-end spot. He levels Hyron Hollins short of the first down. Boy, big time short. I mean, he's a full yard short. Here's a... Here's a tough call. You're inside your opponent's territory at the 40-yard line. You're up by three, late third quarter. Emotional game, looks like. And three yards to go. The ball is on the 41 for the Indians. And off to Overton this time. Drives ahead, got the first down to the 45-yard line. Picks up the yardage, and he has the first down for Waxahachie down on the 45. Down. All right, first and 10 from the 45 for Waxahachie. Running the option. Here's a late pitch to Overton. Turns the corner, 45 midfield. First down, Sammy Overton. From the right hash mark, here's more. Hand off Walker, pounding ahead, straight through. Picks up about four more. Johnson and Garber. at 280 pounds, that junior. 
It is second and five after the five-yard gain. Hand off Walker again. No, this is more on the keeper, and he would have done better to hand it off because he's dropped back behind the line of scrimmage. Keegan Morgan and Matt Harper dump him at the 38. That's going to do it for the third quarter. Kenny Lions 24, the Waxahachie Indians 21. You're listening to the high school game of the week on News 1080 KRLD. News 1080 KRLD. The Waxahachie Indians 21. You're listening to the high school game of the week on News 1080 KRLD. We begin the final period of play. Waxahachie trailing McKinney 24-21. It's third and seven for the Indians at the McKinney 38. Lamont Moore back to throw in trouble and he's dropped. Back at the 47-yard line, Ronnie James and Todd Sperry come over to make the tackle. Big play there by Sperry and James to drop it for the loss back at the 47. Here comes the punt for Waxahachie on fourth down. There's the kick high in the air. Fair catch called for and made by Hollins at the McKinney 12-yard line. So the Lions will start 88 yards away, a 34-yard. On the Lions 12 yard line. Lions open up with three receivers to the left side, one on the right side. Max Naki calling the plays, single back set. Hollins is the lone set back, and out moving on the right side of the line. Mitchell Teasdale, the right guard, or excuse me, that was Jeremy Hedrick, the right tackle, who jumped a little bit too quickly over on the right side. It's going to cost the Lions five yards. From the Waxahachie side of the stadium, let's go over to the McKinney side of Texas Stadium to Craig Miller. Things have uh, kind of picked up over here as well, Craig Way, uh, McKinney with the three-point lead. And uh, again, the intensity level much higher than it was on this side in the first half. And the players, instead of looking up in the crowd and joking around, are now all focused on the field. It'll be first and 15 after the five-yard penalty. It's back to the seven-yard line. Evans is split wide right. Two receivers on the left. Toss to the left side. Big running room. Hollins across the 10 to the 15-yard line. Get some of that penalty yardage back. Kindred makes the tackle, and now it's going to bring up second down, seven yards to go after the eight-yard pickup. McKinney, the ball from the 15. Two receivers left, one on the right. I formation backfield, talking the signals. Naki flags go down. This should be a free play. It's incomplete. Pass over for Ben Boyd. Moreland on the coverage. It was either offside to watch the hatch or perhaps a lion move. Then the Lions came back to take a 17-14 halftime lead. Waxahachie jumped on top. McKinney's retaken the lead. We've had that kind of a ball game. Ten and a half minutes remaining. Second and two for the Lions. And somebody moved on the right side, the up back. Here's Hollins. Good running room. It would have been a first down. But the man who was up ahead of Hollins in the I formation jumped a little bit too quickly. That might have been James Tyler. Who
afternoon in the Astrodome, Sugarland Dulles now 12 and 0 after beating Houston Lamar 26 14 and we will continue to update those scores for you second and seven now again for McKinney after a Lions penalty this time we're back at the 15 here's Naki to throw blitz coming he's hit as he throws but he's got the man open incomplete overthrew the tight end Ben Bruce had him open overthrew him but it would have been a tough catch for Bruce to make well remaining in the game. Penetrations by our count are even at four apiece right now. We will continue to minor penetrations, first downs, and total yardage. The tiebreakers, and we've got a timeout taken. Timeout on the field, 10.08 the play. It's McKinney 24, Waxahachie 21. You're listening to a high school game of the week on News 1080 KRLD. Third down and seven, and this is a very big third down play because if McKinney does not pick up this first down, they will have to punted away. They took the first down, so the Lions down to two timeouts with 10 minutes left in the game, but this is a very big third down play with a three-point lead for McKinnon. Three receivers will go to the right side. Bruce, the tight end, is in Titus. Fans coming to their feet on both sides of the stadium. Dunahoo in motion to the left side. He's back in the game after that earlier lick. Here's Naki back to throw. Fade pattern to the left side, leaping for the football, but unable to come up with it. Was Boyd. The pass incomplete. Isaiah... injuries do you no we don't okay, just checking all right enjoy the game guys all right here's the low snap on the punt the kick is away by max Naki. high driving kick a beautiful kick this one fielded by pointer turns the corner at the 40 breaks the tackle to the 45 and then leveled at the 47 yard line by loki and that's where waxahachie begins Lamont for the quarterback from the 47 on first down straight up the middle big running with Jefferson on the counter down to the 41 yard line on a first down Lee John Jefferson the 160 pound sophomore with a first down for Waxahachie get it done now the clock moving again first and ten from the left hash mark option to the right side here's more big running room turns it inside 35 and then knocked out feet from underneath him and he has good running room down to the 32 yard line KRLD. 59 seconds left to go in the game here at Texas Stadium, and what a game this has been between McKinney and Waxahachie. Everything that it's been built up to be, 
Of course, the first game of the regular season, won by Waxahachie by one point, 14 to 13. It's now a three-point lead for McKinney, 24 to 21. And then both offenses, this really, Craig, might be the kind of game where the team, even if they're down by six or seven, if they have the football at the end of the game, they might be the team with the advantage because both offenses have been able to move when they've had good field position. No doubt about that. And here comes McKinney up to the line defensively. Waxahachie trying to move the football. Second down, a yard to go from the 31. Wing right set. Out of the veer. Handoff. Inside, Overton breaks the tackle. First down, Waxahachie. Kelly Loki on the tackle. It's at the McKinney 25-yard line. Now... Straight ahead on the quarterback keeper, Lamont Moore picks up five more to the 20 yard line, and that should put him in position to give the Indians the go ahead penetration, but they are still trailing by three points. have over a thousand yards by the end of the season second and six on the right side is Wolford option to the right no handoff inside Allen dragging tacklers with him inside the 15 and down to the 12 yard line he picks up nine yards and the first down yards to go for the McKinney 12. Fans chanting go, go, go on the Waxhatch side. Deep pitch left side over to turn the corner. 10 and run out of bounds at the four yard line of the Lions. Sammy Overton is so quick. Is second and two, the ball at the four-yard line from the left hash mark. Moore takes the snap, handoff inside to the two and down to the one-yard line. That's Allen Walker, rather, Dennis Walker, down to the one-yard line. It'll be first and goal. Walks at you at the one. We talk about penetration. But For Waxahachie, a yard away from taking the lead. They trail by three. Back split. Lamont Moore, the quarterback, under center, takes the snap, turns, hands off Walker, touchdown. Dennis Walker right halfback behind Joe Garber, the right tackle, and the Indians are back in front. a little bit as he comes off the field and the Waxahachie fans are going to give him a huge round of applause here. You hear that hand? That's for Dennis Walker who went over from a yard out to give the Indians the lead once more. Now a very important conversion attempt coming. Good snap, it's down and the kick is up. It's good.
7.03 to go. It is 28-24. Waxahachie leading McKinney. George, a very impressive drive for the Indians when they had to have it, trailing by three to go back on top by four. Well, it was helped along with that field position. They got it at the 47-yard line, eight plays, just under three minutes off the clock, and they put up the touchdown run of the run by Walker from a yard out. Dennis Walker with a big night. He has really been running the football hard here in the second half. And, and I just can't say enough about the job of that Waxahachie offensive line. When they have needed the yardage, when they have been trying to get something back on the scoreboard, the offense has responded by blowing off the football and giving those backs some room to run. Then we'll have the final 1991 edition of the KRLD High School scoreboard to follow this game. 28-24, Waxahachie, 7.03 to go. And the Indians to kick off. Back deep to receive Reese Allen, flanked by J.T. Hollins and Phillip Evans. And ben, rather, Ben Boyd is back there in place of Evans. Here's a line drive kick, and it may be Boyd who picks it up. He does. At the 12, comes up across the 20, 25, 30, and then it's hit hard. Knocked down by Lee John Jefferson, who's played a pretty good game on both sides of the field, and it's at the 31-yard line. In a slot left. Evans flanked to the right side. First and ten. Knocky the throw. Left side looks. The ball incomplete. Nearly intercepted. Moreland cut in front of Boyd. Ben Boyd, I don't think, was expecting the pass to come that quickly. Wasn't turned around. Didn't get turned around nearly quick enough. And Moreland nearly had a diving interception. Now, someone made the wrong read there. Knocky was reading just a quick square out. And Boyd kept going up the field. He was running a fade. He kept going down the sideline. And miscommunication there second down and 10 from the 31 Boyd again split left three receivers Evans Donahue and Bruce on the right the short side of the field here's Evans Naki looking to the left side throwing over for Boyd leaping catch by Boyd at the first down at the Waxahachie 47 yard line 22 yards on the pass say enough about it. It's incredible. Naki for the night now in excess of 250 yards. He's at 270 yards and he throws again. This time for Evans on the right who leaps in. It's incomplete and Rodney Pruitt, the left corner, was in position to make the interception. of 36 for 270 yards it is second and 10 at the 47 two receivers on the right one on the left but the left hash mark movement on the Waxahachie side of the line I believe it's offsides against the Indians McKinney players are signaling it should be trying to guess the snap count. Scott Phillips not real happy with the call. The Waxahachie head coach with some words of advice, among other things, for the officiating crew. 
but it's going to be second down and five for McKinney at the 42. Six minutes, 45 seconds to play. Waxahachie 28, McKinney 24. Two receivers right, one on the left side for the Lions. Single back set. Naki takes the snap. Back pedal split, come and gets the pass away. It's caught by Hollins over the middle to the 34-yard line. It's a first down. Kyron Holland. Who and Boyd are split left. High formation backfield. Two men in the backfield. Naki takes the snap. Deep pitch. Here's Holland. Cuts inside to the 30. Down to the 28-yard line. He Here's Evans splitting wide right. On the left side, wide left is Boyd. Dunahoo in a slot left, again out of the eye. It is second down and three yards to go for McKinney at the Indians' 27. Hand off to the fullback inside the 25. Big running room down to the 20, and a first down for McKinney. James Tyler, the senior fullback. for the Lions is Evans. On the left, Dunahoo and Boyd. Again in the eye for the Lions. First down. Back to pass. No, it's a draw play. And here running inside down to the 15-yard line is Highlands. Scott made the tackle. yards to go at the 17. Now we go to the single back set. Here's Naki to throw across the middle. Tight end caught. Touchdown McKinney. Ben Bruce. Over the middle. He beats the strong safety. broke open good throw very important point after coming it's up it's good by Anderson now McKinney 31 Waxahachie 28 this is the high school game of the week on News 1080 KRLD quick for McKinney eight plays 69 yards two minutes and 27 the Lions up 31 for McKinney eight plays 69 yards two minutes and 27 seconds off the clock good mixture of the run and the pass and it puts the Lions up 31 to 28. The stand up and they are and the Waxahachie Indian fans being exhorted or standing. What a great atmosphere. You know you hear the old cliche but it's true tonight. This is what high school football is all about. Here's a line drive kick down the middle of the field picked up uh, coming across the 15, this is Dante Edwards across the 20 to the 25, and he's tackled at the 30-yard line by Manuel Washington. He's 
the best statistician in high school football. He knows it. 22-21. Wow. Offsides on the kickoff against McKinney, but it is declined, and Waxatchee will take the football at the 30-yard line. So the Indians now asking their fans to be quiet. Oh, they can't hear. That band is so loud. And Everyone in here is so loud. Now McKinney, see, they're going to get up and start yelling and say, okay, well, if you want some noise, we'll give you some. So here comes Waxahachie from the Indian 30-yard line. Trailing by three, 31-28, 426 to go. Back split, first down and 10. Man in motion, that's Pointer to the left side. Handoff up the middle, and the ball looked like it came loose. And the ball is down at the 32. It did not. Sammy Overton. Five to go in the clock moving. Second and eight. Waxahachie from the Indians, 32. Walker in motion. Toss to the left side. Here's over to turns the corner, 35, and run out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Behind the quarterback, Lamont Moore. Option to the right side. In trouble. He does pitch to Overton. Turns the corner. He does have the first down at the 40. Run out of bounds at the 47 yard line. now even at 22. Lee John Jefferson in as a wing back on the right side. First and 10 from the 47. 320 to play and the clock moving. Here's more inside handoff on the counter to Jefferson to the 50. Down to the Lions territory at the 47. Little makes the tackle for McKinney. Gain of five. Second and five. The ball at the Lions 48. The back split. Now one man. Walker in motion left. Toss to the left side. Walker is the lead blocker for Overton. But the protection breaks down, and Overton only gets a yard to the 47. Kelly Loki fighting off the blocks to come over, along with help from Melvin Griffin, to make the tackle. Here we go. Kindred in the game has a wing back right. Back split behind Lamont Moore, the quarterback. Third down, four yards to go. Moore, handoff. Walker straight ahead. Didn't get the first down. Inside the 45 to the 44. He's one yard short. Melvin Griffin. They have the back split. Lamont Moore, the quarterback, under center. Takes the snap, pushes ahead, got the first down to the 40-yard line. He keeps the drive alive. Two receivers on the left, Corey Corner and Corey Douglas. Back split, the ball at the 41. Handoff, over it, straight ahead to the 38-yard line, then stood up and... Oh, and the clock moving, second and eight. And now Moore, back to pass with time. Throws deep down the left side, it's up and incomplete. And I'll tell you what. You've got to credit Avery Kindred for getting up and tipping the ball away from Manuel Washington, George, or it would have been an interception. McKinney on 
the right side, Corey Pointer, the wing back. He replaces Tyrone Wolford, who has to get off the field. He does. From the left hash mark, option to the right side. No, it's a pass. Punt and breaking the tackle down to the 40. Down to the 30 and inside. Down to the 20 yard line. The wing back. to this snap. First down from the 20-yard line for Waxahachie. Handoff. Walker inside the 20. Down to the 18. Clock continues to move with 50 seconds to go. And the Indians now spend the timeout. For the last one. With 47 seconds to play in the game. That was their last timeout. Here comes Waxahachie. The ball at the McKinney 17. It's second and seven. 47 seconds to go. The Indians have no timeouts remaining. Wing right set from the right hash mark. Now man in motion for the left side. And here's a toss to the left side with a lead block. Turning the corner over to the 15 to the 10. He's run out of bounds at the McKinney 10-yard line. First down. Goal to go. Here's Moore. Back to pass. Looks. Throws. Got over the touchdown. Daniel Garnett with a much less meaningful point after. Turn for McKinney. Okay, Boyd is out there instead of Evans, so that may be Donahue out there instead of Evans. Allen on the far side is Hollins. Here's a line drive kick straight down the middle. It's picked up by Boyd at the up man, across the 35 and out across the 40 yard line to the 41 yard line. That was Kevin Marsh on the kickoff return. Backfield, two receivers on each side of the field. First and ten, McKinney from the 41. Knocky back to throw. Pressure coming. Throws caught by Dunahoo. Out to the 49. Did he get out of bounds? Yes, just barely at the 46. Isaiah Moreland, the quarterback, made the tackle. Dunahoo gave up three yards to make sure he got out of bounds with 27 seconds to play. Well, they're going to have to work underneath unless they, I mean, unless they want to go for something that's just you know, a prayer down the sidelines and a long post pattern or something like that. The long drops aren't going to be open. We're going to have to go with some short stuff here because the underneath patterns will be given to them by Waxahachie. Second down and four from the 46. Two receivers on either side from the left hash mark. Single back is Holland. Knocking with the snap, back to throw. Look at pressure coming, throws. The ball is incomplete. Had two receivers over on the left side, but it drops down to the surface. A marvelous playoff game tonight. Waxahachie leading McKinney 35-31, 23 seconds remaining. McKinney Lions third and four. 
from their own 46. Receivers split on either side. Naki under center takes the snap, pulls out, blitz coming, flags are down, and so is Naki. Back at the 45. Daniel Garnett makes the tackle. Shotgun for McKinney. Naki, you'll have to yell out to hear through this. High snap almost over his head. Naki pulls it in. In trouble. Steps up the pocket. Throws down the middle. It's incomplete. 17 seconds to go. Ben Boyd is irate that no penalty was called. Fourth and nine for the 41. Last hope for the Lions. Naki rolling out back to pass. Throws to the right side. It's incomplete. Intended for Philip Evans. Evans. games of the season and still came up four points short. A lot of credit goes to Waxahachie. A well-played game by the McKinney Lions. They've really let it all hang out here tonight. This is a super, super football game. Lamont Moore will fall on it. McKinney does have two timeouts left, but it's very academic at this point. Moore will take it, and a flag stops play with 10 seconds left. Legal man downfield against McKinney. Legal too, many, too many men on the field. A legal substitution. And Waxahachie's going to decline the penalty. Yeah. They had 12 men on the field for McKinney. So still do. And uh, now I think they got it down to 11. They did. And now the clock's just going to run, and that's going to do it. It has to be one of the best 4A football games ever played. Certainly one of the best for either of these teams. And it's Waxahachie who comes out on top. The Indians move on to the state quarterfinal round next week. Our final score from Texas Stadium, the Waxahachie Indians 35, the McKinney Lions 31. Stay with us. We've got highlights, statistics, and hopefully some words as well from Scott Phillips. All that and more coming up when we continue on News 1080 KRLD.